this is like a, a straw that's left, left over post harvest and um, we can take that straw or rice husks for example and mill them down into a really fine powder and they form part of our material. Inventing a greener biomaterial leather means you need to follow a few rules. Our ingredients all have to be 100% plant derived, um, completely free of petrochemicals through their supply chain as well. They need to be sustainably sourceable and scalable as well. Tuan Nguyen is the team's principal material scientist, and today he's whipping up a new trial version of their leather. So this is our materials, which is a combination of plant-based polymer and agricultural waste streams as a fillers, like uh, rice husk, for example. Blending the polymer together with the rice husk gives the leather strength and flexibility. Spreading out the mix means that when it's dry, it can be cut into any shape. I am spreading the materials on the paper mold, which is pre-patterned with the leather texture. So when we re remove our materials from this paper mold, the leather texture will be transferred to our materials. Tuan will know if this trial is a success only after it's cured in the oven. But even if it's a failure, it's not worthless. Out of uh, thousands of trials that we have uh, conducted, the majority of them are failures, but uh, they, they have taught us on how to get to the successful uh, compositions and the formulations of our materials. Each trial brings the team closer to their goal, but they're under no illusion as to what they're up against. Realistically, we know that the leather industry is not going to go away completely, so our mission is to become the default to a traditional leather, so be as good as a traditional leather and provide options for, for people to make the more sustainable choice.